and hopefully get our purify. No, not our purify machine, our snack machine. Back soon. Dragon, I trust you've been well. I'm proud to announce the reopening of the Railgram Coliseum following inten extensive maintenance. We look forward to your participation against top ranked trainers. Maybe I actually should do a couple of Coliseum fights. Ah, too bad. Back in the days, you were able to go around and take the back entrance. Well, looks like I need to get the front entrance. Hmm, are you a new recruit seeking to join Team Snagam or just an intruder? Let me battle you and see. You're part of the Dana Games TV roster, you are indeed. You are indeed. That is dark, so that won't make any oh, shit. It's feeling for shift tree. I love Absol. Absol is such a nice Pokemon. Okay. Oh! Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It is absolutely awesome, right? Doesn't have a high defense though. Are you on a fair for the taunt? No. Okay, I need a poker center though. Very harsh, very, very, very harsh. You know what you're doing with your Pokemon, I hate to admit it, but you've wiped me out. We could use your toughness. Come join Team Snake and we're always on the lookout for outstanding talents. Oh wait, 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 wait. Did I not see um Hmm, good. Take that one. We take that one. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's basically because I'm not really you needing a fifth slot at, at this moment. Plus uh 
I think I should get the machine back, and then I kind of like need, a, need it again. Sort of. If it doesn't get killed on the first hit. Yeah, it's me. It's Draken. It's the same name as your former... You know, friend? Partner? Colleague? You might remember that name. I used to be one of you. I mean, not me, but the other guy. Don't forget traitor. Don't forget traitor. <laughs> traitor. I was a traitor too. Um. Um. Hmm. Yuna is handling that here all by itself, herself. I think I think whatever was actually male. Yeah. But hey, Juan is uh, doing a good job too. Juan, you're looking good. Hey, you want Juan for the win? Level 32. Juan, you're level 31, by the way. You're about to turn 32, though. So, um... Thirty-two next year, though, right? You just turned thirty-one. I'm going to turn thirty next month. Shit. Drain again, some psychic. It does feel daunting, yeah, definitely. It feels absolutely unreal. I literally remember the day, uh, like the first day of school. I remember days of kindergarten, like they were like a year ago. It's crazy. I've already taken the snack machine to the boss. Gone's up mighty though. Oh, someone's at the poker spot. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, that's going to happen though, guys. Like, you know, when we took over OMBS, we need to check the poker spots. I think there are four free white Pokemon at each spot. I don't remember. Spot monitor. At the oasis, that is not a flygon or the yeah, the evolution before that, the two evolutions before that. Um, Knackleon? I think it's that German one. Oh no! Keep it up! Stop it! This is not your cake. Oh. Oh! I thought I... Yeah. Oh, that's a critical though. Eh, it works. If it works, it works. If it works, it works. It's a single battle. I, was not, I wasn't prepared for that. Or I'm not even... I'm not even getting experience from that. Oh, I do. Do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. Back to the hideout. For me, the day came and went by though. That feeling of anxiety because of the big free completely vanished very quickly. Wait, wait, wait. When did you turn 30 again? It must have been recently, right? Was it back in January? Damn it. 
Did we celebrate? I honestly, I'm, I'm not going crazy about that either. Um. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, shit. Right. Where do we go first? Down, up. Mm. Well, I would likely stream on my 30th birthday. I'm not really someone who needs to make a big deal out of... Oh, you're rounding, as we say here. Because it's like a big, um, you know, 30. It's different than 31 or 32 or 33. Yeah, I I, re I would really love to um, like do a longer stream of art maybe that day with Neko. Don't know if uh, my family will unexpectedly come over though, because they tend to do that. Mm. Yeah, I'm honestly not really crazy for just because it's a 30 to do anything special about it. On your 30th for sure, yeah, right? It's just the kind of the German way of thinking about birthdays, I guess. What do you want for a birthday? It's cake, right? I'm actually not the big fan of cake. It's Neko who, who is the cake fan. Um... Do I want for my 30th birthday? I really don't need anything. I literally wouldn't know. Um. Hmm. Let's get that guy down real quick. Let me think. Definitely need a new SSD because I need more space on my PC. Could get more RAM. I need to upgrade my RAM because it's getting very slow. Um, what else do I want for my birthday? Nah. I like food more. I mean, I, I like like I prefer salty food over sweet food. Not too salty, but you know, like um, seasoned food. I prefer seasoned food over sugar leaf food. If you know what I mean, doesn't necessarily need to be like salty, salty. Gifts are not supposed to be used for things you need. That is true as well. Never buy yourself. They they are something you would enjoy but would never buy yourself. That's true. That's true. That is true indeed. I'd still wish that someone would come up with the idea of Finding old, original, awesome, cool Digimon or Pokemon toys on eBay, for example, and give them to me. I know that would be something that I would buy myself too, but... <laughs> I think my family doesn't really like... You know, whenever I say something like that, I think they're joking when they ask me, Oh, what do you want for your birthday or for Christmas? I'm like, you know, you could literally give me anything that's like retro and old and from the 90s and maybe Pokemon stuff or Dragon Ball figures or something and they are like... Yeah, maybe some new bat sheets would be nice. 
No, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, in prison? What is in prison again? Prevents target from using moves known by the user. Nah, we don't need that. Yes. It is the def definition by Sheldon. Okay. I see, I see. I get it now. You were on the SS Libra where I went to get the snack machine. Okay, I got it now. I won't have to agonize over this. You're the kid from back there. I got it now. Uh, wait, am I going up here? Or did I come from here? Oh. Hey, Waken. That snack machine you say you went and got, what's up with it? It's too honking small. How am I supposed to fit this on my arm? But uh, it's not because the machine is small. It's because your arm is so thick on Zap. Shadia, yeah, bring me something so useless as this, huh? Who is that kid there? Uh, you, you're that kid. He must have come for the snack machine. Good, we're getting out here, but we're not about to let you have it back. Give up now, kid. Huh? Just... No. Thank you. Like, for example, talking about old cool retro nostalgic stuff when i was a kid i had um two digimon figures they were about 10 15 centimeters high um wait um one was a agumon one was a gabumon and yeah they were like that high maybe and they had like you guys remember this terrible brand called Polly Pocket? Where they had like little worlds inside of castles and houses and like miniature figurines that you could put into those castles and houses. Apparently that was I suppose very popular in Japan. And they did something similar with Pokemon uh, with uh, Digimon, with the Gabumon and the Agumon. And the and, I mean, it's a bit weird when you think about it, but you could open up the stomach of both of the Digimons. And there was like a whole world. Like, like not like a whole, whole world. It wasn't that much space after all. But, um... It was like a little river, you know, like a little area, grass area with a little pond and river inside them. And I think it was... I don't know if it was Gabumon or Agumon, but one of them had an elevator going from the throw that you could, like, get up down to the stomach, and they had mini figurines of the evolutions. So Garurumon... No, wait, no, it was Matt. Garurumon and Matogarurumon, and it was Ty and... Matogreymon and... Wargreymon. And the main figurine was actually an Agumon, and you could put a hat on it that would transform it into... Yes! Exactly! Yeah! Haha! <laughs> you know, yeah! You see, I did just say, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah! Yeah, 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 that's the thing. That's the thing. I need to click on that now. I can't click on it. Can I? There it is. Yes, that's the thing, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, the, you could open up the stomach and you could uh, pull up the... the the head of that Agumon or that Greymon, like again, you can like take off the, the head of the Greymon and uh, I think it had an elevator in it, I think it was Greymon, uh, or Agumon Greymon and that was the exact same thing for uh, Gabumon as well and I was a very dumb kid and sold them as a kid 
on the flea market for like 10 bucks or 5 bucks or something like that. And then I remember finding... I apparently forgot the matte figurine. I had it like laying around somewhere and I was so devastated as a 7 year old or 8 year old because I thought I had scammed someone. I felt like I, I would go to prison for that now. You know, because they... Oh shit. Uh, because they they bought some from of me and they didn't get, get the full thing. And I thought they would come back at me. Be like... There's something missing in your toy that we bought. Yeah, I never heard about or seen those, to be honest. Yeah, I know, I know, they're like super hard to find. They're so hard to find. And they're, I, I think I saw them once on eBay. They were like going for 50 bucks in a used set, like used um, condition. But yeah, if I ever have too much money, I'm gonna rebuy them one day. Really, really sad that I literally threw them out. But yeah, I still have my uh, mad figure, you know that. I apparently, I glued it on top of a pencil. <laughs> Very clever. That's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah, right. Ugh. I hope Gonzo doesn't want to battle. I, heal, I need to heal up first. But yeah, there's the exact same thing. What, what did you search for? Digimon? They offer on eBay is 60 euros. Okay. Yeah, so around that what I... Holy Pocket Gawamon. Okay. So it is indeed... Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's also the Gawamon. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Let me, let me. That's the Gabum one. And that's the little Varagaru one with it. Oh. Well. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I had the Vmon Flame Drummon version of this, so there. Yeah, right. There's all. There was also Vmon, but uh, I wasn't that much. Yeah, I see it right now. Yeah. Yeah. So damn cool. And I'm like, giving that away for five. I don't even know. Did we already have Euro back then? I don't know. For like, nothing. Ah, well, I still have my little mad figurine. That was glued on a pencil. <laughs> you gave away all your Pokemon cards, like, all the way for free? Well, at least you didn't throw them in the trash, like, many, many people. <laughs> I guess. I was trying to find Gengar merchandise on eBay two days ago, I believe. And uh, usually when you search uh, Pokemon stuff on eBay, 90% of the shit you will find, 95% of the stuff you will find are cards. And uh, so it's like super hard, even if you like put it on merchandise or anything, it's it's really, really hard to not have the cards in the, in the search, uh, coming up with a search. But um, I came across a couple of cards that I own, they were also gifted to me <laughs> by someone when I was a kid. But I think they were sold to me or to my mother for like 20, 20 mark, 20 German. German money back then which is not a lot and I think 
the Gengar that I have, that I found, I don't really remember what condition they were in. They were definitely not near mint. Not even mint. Um, they were like okay. They were not completely scratched or completely overplayed or anything like that, but they were not close to mint. Um, I think that one did go for like, or was offered for 40 or 50 euros. Books too, because the son of a colleague of my mom had difficulties reading and was really into Pokemon, so when she asked me if I still want my Pokemon books, I was fine with giving them away. I never had any rare or good Pokemon cards, so I don't regret it. All the basics that aren't even allowed anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, kid, why don't you join us and we'll smash Cypher together? If we snag all the Shadow Pokemon from them using the snack machine, Cypher will collapse. When that happens, Team Stein will step up and take over. So how about it? Will you join us? Yeah! Don't lie, because you're obviously no good at it. Your lips are twitching. All you really want to do is get the snack machine back, don't you? Fine, you'll have your snack machine back, but only if you can beat me. I need to heal up! Uh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Still. As if those guys would stand any chance against Cypher. <laughs> that is well, yeah. Mm. Oh, great. Uh, uh, he's probably going to use explosion or some shit like that. Uh, it's not good. Flinching now. Double kick. It's not really good, is it? I mean, it's hitting twice with the power of 30, so 60 in total. It's not really bad. I mean, it's better than tackle. It's a fighting type as well. Let's forget tackle. I mean, it's pretty much equal to tackle. No, it would be better than tackle because it's hitting twice. Okay, okay. Um, But yeah, to be honest, I really don't need anything. No! Don't know. Uh, I hate it when Pokemon fall asleep. Uh, do I, I have an awake, right? I do have... I uh, awakening, there we go. Did you... Yes, yes, yes. Something with GameCube. Wait. Um, wait, wait, wait. Da, da. If I would want to get a gift for you, I would look for a GameCube or PlayStation 2 game in the 20 to 30 price range and secretly ask Neko to search for your collection to make sure you don't have it already. <laughs> uh... Let me think. GameCube games that I don't have yet. There are a couple. Mm, I have a list actually. Of the games that I still would need to get. My backlog list is so long though, as well. I do have Digimon Rumble Arena. I do have Digimon Rumble Arena. Oh no, Wish Cash. Oh no. Oh. Uh, let him, let him. 
One or two or both? Uh, it's two. Digimon Rumble Arena 2 I have. I don't think I have one. Is, is one for the PlayStation 1? Or is that only Digimon Rumble Arena 1? It's the PlayStation 1 game, right? I remember playing it at my friends a lot. I think it's for the PlayStation 1. Oh no, Jolton. Honestly, finding games that are in a good condition these days is hard. It's really, really hard. No, it's not that hard. It used to be. It's just like really raising the prices at the moment, like everything. It's getting raised up, sadly. Okay. Wish cash must recharge. Come on, Spiel, take care of it. There is that. Oh, this is odd. There is that uh, PlayStation One game I played a lot as a kid. Don't ask me how I ended up with it. Uh, it was a burned CD that I got from someone, a friend maybe, who used to burn CDs back in the days. Um, however, I had a, a PlayStation 1 game, The Emperor's New Groove, and I was madly in love with that game. But yeah, since it was burned, I never owned it originally. And... Uh, Because my PlayStation 1, like, I, I got rid of all my, oh no, oh no, I pretty much got rid of all my burned games at one point. Oh, I'm dead then. The GameCube game I advanced adapter, I do have that. It did come with my Pokemon Coliseum GameCube. Hey, booty hop to the rescue. Fuck my life. You go and sleep. You go and amber this. It's not going to work. I need a revive. Who am I going to revive for wish cash, though? Juan? Nazleaf? A shift tree? You got right? Probably. But yeah, that game is actually around... No, I don't need that. Around 10 to 15, I believe, in an, or, or, or more like 15 to 20 in a good condition with a booklet and everything. Because I actually, I, I, I literally collect those, so I always look for a nice condition of games. Stop learning. Uh, no, wait. No, I don't need that. And yes. Oh, one is out of Giga Drain, you're right. Oh no, oh no. Mm. Nothing works then, right? It's going to absorb my... Well, it's sleeping now, but it is going to absorb Jolton's thunder. Who am I going to revive then? The game was so much fun, for real. So yeah, there's that game that I would definitely love to get again. I actually was about to buy it a couple of times, but then I was like, ah, goddammit, no, you don't have time. So many games you want to play right now. A strong special attacker then, who would that be? Sveal? With Aurora? Oh, oh wait, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Right, um... Where's my revive? Right. No! 
Ah, no! Of course! Ah! <laughs> shit! And Shockwave doesn't do shit! <laughs> I haven't, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You better stay asleep, Wish Cash. Okay. No. 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 Yes. Okay, it's one on one now. Ayona, hey, you need to hit that psychic and be fast. Ayuna to the rescue. You did it! You did it! Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Good job, good job, Ayuna. Sweet. Using the ether and taking the hyper beam. Yep, going in for the bait. If we had your exper exper expertise... And the snack machine would have no trouble crunching cipher. But fine, a promise is a promise. You take your snack machine bag. Ha! Huh, are you serious, Gonzeb? After all the trouble we went through to get it? Weren't we going to use that to teach Cypher a lesson for dumping us? This kid's fighting to bring Cypher down, right? Him and us, we're both after the same thing. Hey, our kid. Here, kid, take it. You can have your snack machine bag. Okay, thank you. Good job, Iona. Good job. You rescued our ass. That thing didn't fit my arm anyway. Oh yeah, I may as well give you this too. It just goes to show how I can be ge generous. Do we get the master wall? Oh no. Gonzap's key. This is a gift from me. There's a chest in a corner on the ground floor. That's the key for it. Alright, kid. Get going. Cypher Secret Factory is to the north. We'll all be looking forward to your crushing cipher. That's when Team Snagan will again be in control. Oh, my poker board is... Uh, oh, the other one is reacting too. And, um, a full heal. Two of them. We need to get back in here though. I think there's more stuff for us to get. We need to heal up though before we go to the... Spots. Is it that one? No. Ah! If I had known I was at a psychic, I would have said revive one. I know it was a good choice. I don't think that bullet seed would have done as much damage as Psychic, to be honest. You would have maybe had to use the ether on Giga Drain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't look now, so I'm just gonna try my like two of them. Should I have Pokemon? A mirror bee is around. But I remember, did that Zangoose um, actually flee? Mm, we have a Zubad. Okay. I think the cycle of the sound resetting itself is pretty much at something around three hours. The game is working on stream now. I think it's because I have my mouse on the chat on Discord, yes. Should remember to put it there. Leave it there. Okay, we have a Zubad. So that was not amazing. Maybe I'm in for a surprise here now. We still need the mobile. Oh, oh, 
yeah, that surprise was what I was thinking about. Cool. Um, beautiful. I should have changed to hippity hoppy as my. Yeah, but I think hippity hoppy should survive an attack. Okay, um. For a pinch, I really need you. You might end up on my team full time. So, first of all, we put you to sleep. My Pokeball actually. Gonna need those Ultra Balls. There we go. Nice! Uh, do we want a nickname for him? Well, not yet. No one, no one said anything yet, so. Dry Pinch is okay. Okay, but Mirabee was spotted too, right? Where did they spot Mirabee though? I think he's at the stadium. Hmm. Rear Gram Tower. Oh, yeah, right. The Colosseum there is open as well. Mm. I mean... You know what? For the rest of the day we could maybe go... For a Colosseum battle. How about that? 